Hey there YouTube, Superbrain AK here. <clears throat> Check it out. I have finally finished my uh, charger. I rebuilt it using the TP5100s. Let me take you off the tripod so you can check it out a little closer. So, currently, I have it powered off of my DPS 3012. It's got 20 volts, 1.7 amps, and drawn 34 watts. So that comes in off this line here, into here. And it taps on to this first LM2596HV. Oops. Hey, more light. So, got an XD60 connector going in, taps off of here, and then this converts it down to 12 volts, which if you can see the little yellow line, comes over to here with these three TP5100s uh, so it's supplying 12 volts to these three and then those three go to these three cell holders which currently have cells in them now the red and black come off and go into here and they also go this way into here so, the main 19 volts goes to this guy, this guy, and this guy, which are all LM2596HVs, so I can handle about 50 volts on the input. And then, so, each one of these is supplying three. This one supplies these three. This one supplies these three. Now these, if you might be able to see, there is one uh, re current shunt there, so these are set to one amp. And then these, as you can see, there are two current shunts in series. And this is, these are the ones that come with them. They come with two, so it's set to two amps. That's a bit much for what I want to be charging at. So these six slots are set to 500 milliamps and then these three slots are set to uh, one amp. And well let's check some temperatures. It's been running for a little minute. So this is the main one supplying the 12 volts to these at one amp. They're about 47.8 45.6, so 47 on the inductor, 45 onto the actual chip. And then these guys run 44.8. And I know the diode, I don't know if I can get it, yeah, diode's running 50.2. Because these are buck converter uh, chips, not your. TP4056, which is a linear, so these can take a much higher voltage in and are way more efficient. Yep, and then if you see these alligator clips coming off into this, I just have a big ground wire coming off the ground there. Uh, well, those are some scope probes. Yep, ta -da. So we've got it all set up on the oscilloscope. Now if you can all read all that, numbers jumping around, but we've got about 800 millivolts of noise, but mainly on this guy. Um, so these are the purple is the main input voltage, the yellow is the first 500 milliamp. Uh, section. This is the reading the 12 volts. These three are reading the 12 volts. This is the main input. So that's the 12 volt of the first 500 milliamp section. 
That's the total volt of the second section. And then this is the higher current section, so you can see there's a lot more noise on it because it's drawing so much more current. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And really happy about the oscilloscope, which is certainly going to be fun. I'm still, you know, learning, working things out. And you may have noticed that there's actually a whole nother one, a whole nother section. Um, this is going to be my universal charging slot since I bought a four-way cell holder, so I might as well use it. And these are the ones that have the wire pre-soldered onto it. These ones, they had the little pin that went down, and so I had to cut that off and then solder wire on. But these ones already had wires cut. I just had to extend them. But that's okay. So anyway, this last slot here is connected here onto this charger which is how I had it set up before I was using these directly onto the cell the only problem is the volt potentiometer keeps heat cycling and changing its voltage to you know 4.3 or even down to 4.1 most of the times it went up to 4.3 so you got the positive here coming out. This is, you know, powered from the main 19 volts. Uh, you know, 15 to, like, 15 to 50. <laughs> and then that converts it down to 3, or to 4.2, approximately. And I have to make sure that the voltage is right before I put a thing on, which is why I put this little terminal block here. So that way I can connect some wires to do whatever else I want to power. And then I've got this switch. So I switch it over. It goes on this line, which goes to the cell. Or connected over here, which goes to the terminal block. I just have alligator clips onto some resistors. Which, it's only putting about uh, 500 something milliamps over. Which is at 4.2 volts. So yeah, this seems to be working perfectly well, and temperatures have not increased, I don't believe. 48.2, 44, 45, what's that dive getting to? Uh, 51. Yeah, 45, not bad. And then all the cells are, eh, there's a little bit of heat in these, but you know, <laughs> it's slightly over room temperature. That's what it feels like. Now, I also have a thermocouple onto the piece of metal, which they're all mounted to. I am thinking about, you know, getting a small piece of copper pipe and running it through there and run water cooling, which would be cool, but it doesn't seem like it needs it. So, yeah. So, these cells, I'm getting pretty far along in uh, testing all my batteries. I only have these ones left of my uh, 5400, no, 5500, no, these, these big behemoth ones, these big behemoth laptops. So I'm almost done with those, and then you can see all my cells that I've done. So that's four four by five cell holders on each row. So I've got two of those, and then I've got two four by fives there. And then I also have a box. Uh, cells. So what I'm going to do 
is take a lot of my um, non high voltage cells because these are actually all 4.3 volt cells uh, so what I'm going to do is take all those and use them take the high volt cells use them for you know real projects that way I can charge to 4.2 without having to worry about ex lower life and then take the 4.1 or the 4.2 volt cells charge them to 4.1 and I'm going to make a test pack and I'm going to put them on this sort of speaker box I don't know if you can't really see, but it's a tailgating speaker. Ion Explorer Bluetooth little amp, which takes a normal yeah, a four amp hour or five amp hour lead acid battery, which a four a single four by five cell holder uh, works perfectly in. So well, I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed. Not too much noise there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.